All right. It's uh, Josh um, experimenting with uh, a new camera. It's not really new for me per se. It's uh, my buddy's camera. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of just going to show a couple of things. And uh, hopefully this isn't too dull and boring. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to be showing a couple of pickups. And uh, the first one is actually and unpackaging so that's what I got. I took it out of the box because my address was kind of posted all over it so yeah let's uh, open this bad boy. Maybe. I didn't bring a box cutter or anything over here so. This is a Korean film that I ordered from Hong Kong because it doesn't have a Blu-ray in Korea. It's a movie I've been interested in for quite a while. So, yeah, so packaged pretty well. I'm pretty impressed. I ordered it through a site that I knew nothing about, so I was kind of concerned as to whether it would show up in a timely fashion and how it would be packaged and all that. But it's actually packaged really well and showed up in right at two weeks. So hopefully it's in focus. That's the thing about his camera is there's no autofocus. Looks like it comes with like a like a washcloth or something. But yeah, this is uh, Scarlet Innocence. It's directed by uh, Im Pil Sun. Um, he directed uh, Hansel and Gretel. And then um, he uh, did two of the three segments for Doomsday Book, which is a short film that came out in... Um, <clears throat> short film called Omnibus about like the apocalypse and whatnot that came out in like 2012. Yeah, this is bad panda shop. Looks like a like a little like cloth of like white discs down or something maybe. I don't know. But it's got uh, discount coupons for like a bunch of stuff on orders over like 25, 7500. But yeah, um, the actual film stars um, Jungle Sung and then I can't remember her name actually. Isum, but yeah, I don't really know her. But yeah, this is a movie I've been interested in. It's kind of like a erotic revenge kind of thing, from what I've heard. I don't know a whole lot about it. I really like the director a lot, even though he hasn't done much. He's just done Antarctic Journal, and then um, he did. Uh, he's I can't get this open. He did. Uh, <clears throat> Hansel and Gretel and Doomsday Book, and that's pretty much it. Um, he is a director I've really liked. He just doesn't do like a ton of work, so I don't know if it's hard for him to get work, or if he just likes waiting so that it's a quality over quantity kind of thing. Either way is fine. I think he's a quite a fascinating director. I hope I'm doing this video okay. I'm like left-handed, and the framing is all weird. I don't know much about lenses and stuff, so the lens he put on here is like kind of weird. So it's the long lens, but which is great for capturing like details. Just uh, can't do a lot of whole moving, around, whole lot of moving around. Okay, there's a code, so I don't care if you steal that. But there's the disc, and then it uh, looks like the inlay is the exact same thing. So yeah, it's pretty cool. I'm really excited to watch this. I'm actually. I'm going to be watching this probably in a couple hours after I upload the video. It's got English subtitles in this region A, so if you live in the States or uh, Hong Kong, Japan, Korea, you can uh, get this movie, Scarlet Innocence. And then uh, <clears throat> the next couple I want to talk about are actually uh, Japanese imports. And then um, i got a Korean import, and I think... That's uh, essentially it. Yeah, I got, got a few imports in here to talk about. And then, uh, yeah. So, anyway, uh, next up is a kind of a plain edition, but the only Blu ray release it has in Korea that I'm aware of for uh, M. Sang Su's remake of The Housemaid. I think it's called Hanyo. Hanyo? Hanyo, maybe. Anyway, there's the uh, disc with. Uh, Jun Do Young and uh, the inlay. But yeah, it's pretty plain, bare bones edition. I haven't seen how it looks on Blu ray, but I can imagine it looks pretty awesome. 
Uh, I think it's just as good as the original, but it's totally different. So, yeah, uh, I'd recommend seeing both. The House Made by Kim Sing Soo. And then uh, next, I'm going to show the original 1960 Hanyo. I hope that's the right title. The House Made by Kim Kyung, part of the uh, Korean Organization Film Archive something like that, series, which is spine number one, so again, I hope I'm getting this in frame right, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful, like, set, the, uh, the Korean writing is, like, embossed, and it looks like blood, there's a crazy lady, and, uh, on the staircase, um, special features are Martin Scorsese introduction, which I think is different from the Criterion release, I, mean, I can't be 100% on that, it's got a commentary by Park chan -wook and uh, Lee Dong-jin, uh, who I guess is a film critic over there, I'm not familiar with him, but Park chan uh I love, he's like my favorite director. And then it's got um, directors on Kim Ki-young, and that is uh, 50 minutes, and it has, uh, all the features are subtitled, even the commentary, and like a ton of people in the film industry over there just talk, uh, praise, and talk about their influence from uh, Kim Ki-young. Uh, Box of Death, which is his very first film. There's no sound on that because they've never been able to film like the sound reel for it. But uh, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I I definitely give it a watch. And then I Am a Truck is like a I think the first thing he, uh, Kim Ki Young ever worked on. It's a, just a documentary about uh, like uh, automobiles, like trucks and stuff. And it's it's okay. It's it's subtitled too. Uh, I'd recommend it for like I guess historical purposes. But yeah. So opening this up. And I'm gonna like double check what we're seeing because uh, this could like not be working. I think it's all been out of frame, so I just gotta make sure to hold it about there. But anyway, um, so you get the uh, Blu-ray case is black, which is awesome. It's a thick, sturdy case. Got it. <laughs> the two leads there. After I knock everything off, and um, yeah. It's, it's, it's a pretty cool release. I think there's even, like, yeah, there's, like, an inlay, like, reverse cover you can put up there, which is pretty cool. Which, I guess I could take that out and show you guys. Yeah. It's just got the, uh, made on it. It's pretty badass. So, uh, get this back in there for this awkwardly long, embarrassing video. Which I, I can't edit, because, uh, the new computer I got... I don't quite know what's up with it, but like it won't let me use Movie Maker, which is sad. Um, I'm sure there's some alternatives, but at the moment I just I don't care to like invest in that. <coughs> there's the original poster, by the way. And uh, I just I don't know. I'm trying to save up money for a trip, and uh, yeah, I just there's Kim Ki Young, quite a famous picture. Uh, this book's half in Korean, and then it repeats, and the rest is in English, so that's nice. Um, about the director, and about the film, and whatnot. I've only read a little bit of it. I think I read uh, the about the director because I'm really interested in Kim ki -young. But, yeah, there is a beautiful edition of The Housemaid, which I highly, highly recommend. I'm going to speed things up a bit since I keep kind of fumbling around with my words and all that. This is the second in that series of the March of Fools. It's, uh, I think it's from the 70s, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 1975, directed by Ha Ha Gojong. Ha, ha, yeah, I don't know how to say his name. But yeah, this is the only film I know by him, and it's got a uh, commentary by uh, Chung Sung Il and uh, Darcy. I don't know how to say Darcy's last name. I'm going to say Paquet. I don't know. But, um, yeah. And then it's got <clears throat> a sequence from the original native. Um, just to kind of show comparison. Censored clips, which I don't really understand why they're censored. Maybe for cursing and whatnot. The image gallery, which is pretty nice. And then, um, yeah, you can see, like, uh, some actual photos from, like, the uh, screenplay, which is censored. And there's stuff just, like totally blacked out, which is pretty interesting. Uh, these both are region-free, so um, I'd recommend anybody 